What is Untamed? Untamed is a steel hybrid roller coaster located at Wallaby Holland in Flevoland, Netherlands. The ride opened to the public as Europe's first modern hybrid roller coaster constructed by the well known roller coaster manufacturer Rocky Mountain Construction. And, like the majority of their attractions, Untamed didn't begin its life as the ride we see today. Prior to the new millennia, the park was acquired by the Six Flags Corporation. As a result, they opened in the year 2000 under the brand new name Six Flags Holland. With the debut season came a whole host of investments, including four new roller coasters. One of these new flagship rides was Robin Hood, a wooden roller coaster manufactured by Dutch firm Vacoma. In fact, Robin Hood was one of only three wooden rides built by the company, all located within Europe. As its name suggests, the ride was located within a medieval themed area of the park, Sherwood Forest. As it aged, Robin Hood began to gain a bad reputation. Many found the wooden coaster was becoming increasingly uncomfortable. On top of this, as Wallaby Holland developed, so too did its attractions. New rides built at the park catered exclusively to thrill seekers, aiming to attract guests with the new best thing. By 2018, Robin Hood wasn't as thrilling as it was upon opening year. Declining ridership, led by these two factors, caused Wallaby Holland to make a radical announcement. And on the 6th of February 2018, they stated that Robin Hood would be refurbished into a brand new experience for 2019. This sparked a huge amount of hype within the European theme park communities. As guests, it was later confirmed that parts of the ride would be reused in a renovation by the American company Rocky Mountain Construction, often referred to as RMC. The idea to improve, rather than completely replace the aging attraction, came from Wallaby Holland's director, Masha Van Til. After experiencing Iron Rattle in America, a similar old wooden coaster that had undergone a refurbishment to become a thrilling hybrid coaster, she decided it was a perfect fit for the park. Robin Hood closed the guests for the last time on the 28th of October 2018. The same night, an exclusive event revealed the name of the new roller coaster, Untamed. Removal of the old track began in November, followed by the construction of the new ride in December. Throughout the building of Untamed, Wallaby Holland produced a series of videos detailing the construction process and slowly revealing aspects of the ride. Through this, we saw the attraction's conversion from a wooden roller coaster to a hybrid variant. The track was slowly replaced by a steel counterpart, while the original supports were often reused and altered to allow for a new layout to follow Robin Hood's old design. Towards the end of the process, the park installed a red button on one of the fences near the ride station. When pressed, a sound would play, which was later revealed to be the audio played when a train is dispatched from the station. <laughs> That's nice, though. After roughly eight months of construction, the new roller coaster opened to the public on the 1st of July 2019. And, unlike Robin Hood, time and effort were spent improving the overall design of the attraction and its nearby area. As part of this, Sherwood Forest became an all new section of the park known as the Wilderness. In total, 12.5 million euros were spent on the ride and its new area. This included the addition of a whole host of thematic elements to both the new roller coaster and the wilderness as a whole. In fact, the section of the park is part of a greater festivalization project which began in 2018. With this, Wallaby Holland aims to transform each area of the park over the coming years through continued investment. In the wilderness, it's very clear that Mother Nature has taken over. Wicker and plants can be found scattered around while old machines lay in disrepair. As guests walk up to the ride, they are met by a large metallic entrance sign. Navigating the queue line, visitors pass beneath a repurposed section of Robin Hood's wooden track with a car of the original ride sitting above. It's at this point that riders come face to face with the attraction's station building, which resembles an overgrown greenhouse. Inside, guests board one of the ride's two vehicles. Each train has been made to resemble a large flying insect similar to a dragonfly, and seats visitors in six cars, each of which are made up of two rows of two. This leads to a total of 24 riders per train. Once ready, ride operators stand on pressure plates at the end of the station, allowing the trains to dispatch from the station building. 
as the sound plays, riders leave the station and complete a 45 degree outward bank turn straight into the base of the lift hill. Here, the trains slowly climb up 36.5 meters high. After cresting the top of the hill, the trains plummet down the 35.4 meter drop at the maximum vertical angle of 80 degrees. It's at this point that riders reach the maximum speed of 92 kilometers per hour. Once they've completed the first drop, guests race over a small bunny hop and enter a one-of-a-kind inversion, the 270-degree double-inverting corner stool. This element sees the train enter the first half of a zero-g roll, followed by a wave turn, and then the second half of a zero-g roll. After this, visitors complete a double-up, followed by a downward, left-hand bank turn. The trains climb over two airtime hills, one normal and the second outward banked before entering the ride's third inversion, a step-up underflip. Riders then traverse a 97 degree outward stall and complete a double up followed directly by a double down. At this point, guests enter their fourth inversion, a 140 degree stall. After an overbank turn to the right, the trains navigate a series of four airtime hills followed by the final inversion, a heartline roll. The ride comes to an end with a small dip and quick ascent into the final brake run. Throughout their experience, guests complete 14 individual airtime moments and traverse through 5 inversions, a record for an RMC roller coaster. This all takes place within approximately 53 seconds of actual ride time in which guests navigate 1085 meters of track. Because of this and the size of the trains, Untamed has a maximum theoretical throughput of roughly 900 riders per hour. It's safe to say that Untamed has been a huge success. It seems that the ride has taken the Dutch roller coaster enthusiast community by storm. Many love the coaster, quoting its whippy layout and forceful airtime moments, while others are happy to recall how much of an improvement the ride experience is compared to its predecessor. Untamed is taller, faster, and longer than Robin Hood managing to pack in a more thrilling layout into the exact same space. Which leaves us with the question, would you like to see more European theme parks convert their older wooden coasters into new hybrid attractions? Let us know which parks and rides in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you all next time. Just before you go, we upload every week or two and YouTube really isn't good at this whole subscription thing. So consider hitting the bell button so you'll get a notification every time we upload new content.